Within the halls of the National Motorcycle Museum, you'll find the world's largest collection of British bikes, which attracts more than 250,000 people every year. But as impressive as this collection is, it's only part of what makes the museum so special. Its motto is, where legends live on. But for a bike to live, it's got to be ridden. And believe me, the museum practices what it preaches. And this is what today is all about. Lucky members of the museum's Friends Scheme being given the chance to ride six of the museum's bikes. But these are no back of the hall basket cases. The bikes being ridden today are among the most desirable in the world. There's a stunning 1949 Vincent Black Shadow with its iconic 150 mile an hour speedo. A 1947 500cc Norton International owned by George Formby. There's the Rocker's favourite, a 1962 BSA Rocket Gold Star. A 1931 350cc SOS and the Rolls-Royce of motorbikes, a 1930 Bruff Superior SS100. When this bike was new, it would have cost as much as a small house. And if you want one today, eh, it would probably cost as much as a small house again. But before the riders go out on the road, it's back to school, to get a feel for these classic machines and to learn how to use some of the things that modern bikes no longer have. Well, you've got manual advance and retard, so the ignition you have to set yourself. You've got air levers, chokes if you like, which modern machines don't have. A lot of the people today will be used to left-hand gear change. Well, these machines have got right-hand gear change. And a kickstart. Yeah, and of course kickstarters. So uh, a lot of the people here today will have never kickstarted a bike. They will have only had electric start. It's quite a lot to get your head around this. There is. There is a lot. And so we're giving everybody an hour off-road, as it were, to get used to things. With the training done, it's time to hit the road. It's not the first time that I've ridden in the dawn. I used to do it all the time before I met you. I like to get out when the air is fresh and warm and the roads are all quiet. So James, how was that? It was fantastic. I mean, what a privilege to ride such a thing. And yeah, lovely bike, goes really nicely, really smooth, really, really pleasurable. And you can see why they were known as the Rolls Royce of motorcycles. There's no better comparison, really. High speed luxury travel. So how was it? It was fantastic, thank you. Yeah, brilliant, better than I expected. Yeah. And you mentioned that it's a little bit got its oddities. Yes, uh, yeah, first gear, I have to sort of put it down and come back up because I find I can't get into first gear and then in fourth gear it sort of goes into a neutral so I have to stamp twice but once I've got used to that and the clutch I'm fine. It's absolutely fantastic I mean uh, in the day I had a bike very similar to this but this was top of the range this is the one that everybody wanted and to get the chance to ride it, it, it at my age it's unbelievable. It's been a brilliant day, the first ride out the museum's ever run, and I don't think it'll be the last.